I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto almost daily. Jump in right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin bounce this week. So after running the lows down to about 24,600, you've seen Bitcoin bounce. The fact of the matter is the 200 simple moving average coming in here, yellow line is still major overhead resistance. So there are ideas where do you get a bounce here? Do you bearishly retest the 200 simple moving average? You're gonna have the 21 there as well, which can act as resistance overhead on the weekly, right? You break and you lose 25,000, even if you run up here and bearishly retest this idea. I mean, you have to put in a higher high if you're the bulls to really change things, 31,800. Otherwise, anything lower than this high at about 30,000, 30,500 would be a lower high. And there's an idea where you see this shoulder head, shoulder type pattern. And do you see a breakdown there? So we'll go over that. This is the Bitcoin daily chart. And we talked about, okay, here's the death cross. And definitely when you're new, when you're new in crypto, that sounds just like it is stated. Death cross doesn't sound amazing, right? And these happen all the time in the, the price action is hit or miss like yeah you did see a move to the downside now you've got some possible bullish divergence on the daily time frame where you've got so this low and this is a lower low right on the rsi you've got this low and then this is a higher low right so they don't match up so that's possible bullish divergence i mean you really want to see uh the bulls regain like twenty six thousand eight hundred for big changes potentially, but you have seen a run up from 25,000. I mean, bears got trapped here. Bears got trapped here because you lost this key level and people opened up shorts based on that idea. Now you can see this support level was key inflection point and price action completely took off back here where you had this falling wedge, right? And so some, well, we see the similar type breakout after move down to the support level and then bullish explosive move to the upside we'll go back to this idea you got to have a higher high right here if you want to have the uptrend continue for bitcoin so that's the key for the bulls otherwise very important for the bulls that they hold twenty five thousand. otherwise twenty thousand comes quick this is the total two you had this previous bull trap up here where you had this breakout of key resistance and then the bulls got trapped bearish retest and significant downside right so now you're forming possibly falling wedge there's some bullish divergence ideas it's interesting that you had the ftx exchange is going to be able to sell their tokens inflation data wasn't amazing Bitcoin pulls back to 20,000, this thing's playing out, right? All coins get hit hard. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. So, in the spot group, 15% out of Alpine, 23% out of SNX, and 50% uh, gains out of UNFI. We have been posting a few leverage setups, and this was one of them, kind of opening up the gates, the floodgates to the leverage group. 369%. 196 percent 92 percent 75 60 59 58 57 these are all from today tons of bangers in the leverage trading group go to cryptorev.net use leverage 100 for 100 dollars off six months use leverage 200 for 200 dollars off 13 months again this just gives you a better opportunity to make money in all market conditions because you We'll make sure you're trading the market both ways. FTX exchange was approved to liquidate its assets on September the 13th. And if you just, you know, shout out to Trip for this chart. If you look at this green arrow, it shows the size of the move that if they were to sell all the assets at the same time, and we already talked about how there's assets that are locked up 
can't be sold until 2025 as far as Solana goes. It, it, it's not that significant of a move based on the big picture, right? It, it drops the overall market cap of cryptocurrency 0.34%. So obviously certain altcoins might get hit harder than that, but just to kind of keep it in perspective with you, that's the type of move to the downside if everything were to happen all at one time, which we already talked about how Galaxy Digital is in charge and they're trying to, they want to unload the token slowly and not cause the market to turn to the downside. SEC charges creator of Stoner Cat's web series for unregistered offering of NFTs. Basically, in the United States, it's important that this NFT goes to court and wins or this creates an obvious issue for nfts in general the reality is with these cryptos if you if you go by the howey test where you know if you create an offering that people can profit from and it's not you know it's not decentralized then most of your cryptos nfts and whatnot are, are securities technically if you go by the howey test so the ultimate goal is to break away from this entire idea it's 1940s law something has to change on a governance level that will get the sec off of our backs and just let us do our thing in crypto but like we talked about gary gensler came out and he's really taking a bold and strong approach on cryptocurrency just saying there's just a bunch of scams and nonsense and I mean, we know we know there's a lot of nonsense that goes on in crypto I mean, you can't deny it right and his idea is to protect people from obvious issues in crypto however it takes away from the access that the united states has to trade this market in a lot of cases however you can go to mex c exchange use a vip link in the description and you can trade there's two thousand altcoins you can trade leverage trading spot trading that's highly recommended make an account there this is a bitcoin one day short setup and so the idea is will you see this shoulder head shoulder form where bitcoin gets a bounce here off about you know twenty five thousand and runs up to thirty thousand or anything lower than thirty one thousand eight hundred and then shoulder head shoulder and that would be a bearish idea which would give significant downside ideas on a break below 25,000 right so 20,000 comes quick if you lose this key support level bitcoin dominance is breaking out and so what does this mean this means that bitcoin looks like and it looks like it's ready for a move higher if bitcoin dominance pumps normally it's not good for the altcoins bitcoin going sideways or dropping when this thing is pumping is the worst case scenario and this is a heat map and there's a lot of green in the market barely right a few percentage points but the main question is will you see this bullish divergence play out and you'll get significant move to the upside and so all eyes are on bitcoin right now because it drives the entire market you just don't want to see bitcoin get rejected and come back down and lose this level right? you don't want to lose after bitcoin has regained this level you don't want to see Bitcoin come up here and, and lose this level, right? So that's the important thing. Bitcoin has to maintain and hold this level that it lost previously. And that makes this a bear trap. And when the bears get traps, they, they get punished, right? So you know people open up shorts. They, they would have opened up so many more shorts if it was down below this previous low, right? And so again, possible bullish divergence on the RSI thing to pay attention to for bitcoin can bitcoin put in a rally here ethereum again same idea you've got a low and then a higher low so here's your low and then this is a lower low so this is bullish divergence and you've got this falling wedge if, if ethereum could break out here ethereum has major resistance right here right here okay it's weaker than bitcoin but again this market will do you got to counter trade the traps right Ethereum has, has to flip, has to flip this level, right, for upside continuation. 
And then you've got a ton of selling pressure right here at about $1,800 Ethereum. All right, so this is Ethereum daily chart. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.